Today, I'm coming at you with the three most common questions we get when it comes to every dollar. What's going on, everybody? Craig here. I'm a financial coach who loves helping people break the check to check cycle so they can finally find some peace of mind when it comes to their money. Now, if you use every dollar like me, you know that it's incredibly simple. You can plan out your budget every month, you can track it as you go, and there's not a whole lot of complicated bells and whistles that come into play with the software. That said, there are some things that can be a little bit confusing when you're trying it out for the first time and you're trying to figure out the nuances. Or or maybe in your budget or your personal life, your finances are not as black and white as a first of the month to end of the month kind of thing. So you have to figure out how can I make this software work in my situation? Well, today I'm gonna to give you three questions that we get all the time on our YouTube videos, through our clients, and in our free Every Dollar Facebook group. Question number one is, can I sync my account with someone else's account. So can we have my spouse and I have two phones and each be able to access and engage in the budget at the same time? Well, the answer to that question is you can't have two separate accounts that are linked. So if your spouse has their own account and you use your own account, you can't really sync those, nor can you add two email addresses to one account. But what you can do is you can both log in using the same email address and password on both devices. In fact, that's what my wife and I do with our budget, we're both logged in on our phones using the same login information. So she can track budgeting items on her phone, I can track some on mine, and we can both engage in the budget as we go. So if you and your spouse both have your own accounts, choose one to go with, and both of you start accessing that one and engage in it separately, but using the same login. The second question we get a lot is, when should I use the phone or when should I use the computer? And actually, a lot of times when I'm giving tutorials on the computer, people will comment and say, this looks different that what I'm seeing, mine doesn't look like this. And most likely that's because you're accessing it from a phone and I do a lot of my tutorials on the computer. So for example, here I am inside of every dollar screen on the computer. So you can see it is got a lot more to it. There's a lot of things you can click on. There's a whole left sidebar. We have this over here. Now, if you're on your phone, this is what it's gonna look like. And you can see there's just a lot less to it. Yes, you can go in and you can do some tweaks. You can make some changes, you can engage, but you're not gonna have access to all all of the things that you will on the computer. So if you're on your iPad or on your phone and you're using the app, that's when it's gonna look different. If you want it to look the same as the desktop from your iPad, search through Safari or whatever your web browser is and go to the Every Dollar website through there and then you will see a more inline version of it than what you would see on the computer. Now, as far as when to use the computer and when to use the app, I usually say when you're setting up your monthly budget, every month when you're sitting down to plan the next month, I recommend using a computer. Find a device, sit down and get on the computer so you can actually really do a lot of the things you wanna do. It's easier to, to change your plan numbers, to add add categories, to add items. There's a handful of things you can't do on the phone, but you can do on the computer. So when setting up your budget, use a computer, and then as you're engaging throughout the month, that's when your phone comes into play. Use the app to track and engage throughout the month. And finally, the third question that we get a lot is, what if I want to start completely over with my budget? So let's just say you, maybe you dropped the ball or you, you gave up on budgeting for a long time and now you're coming back to it and everything is different. All your funds are out of whack. Everything is just at a point where you're going, you know what? I think I just want to start completely over. I want to erase it all, start from scratch. How do I do that? Well, as of this recording, you can't. There's not a way to just do a complete wipe out of everything and start fresh. Really the only two ways to do that is number one is to create a brand new account with a brand new email address, which if you're paying for the every dollar premium might not make sense because you're giving up the money you sunk into that other account. Otherwise, the only way to do it is kind of a complicated and robust way. Let me show you how you can work around it. So at the bottom of every budget, you'll see a reset budget button. Now there's a good chance you've already tried to do this and we're frustrated that it's not doing anything because you see if I hit reset budget, it's just going to copy the previous budget again. So you you can see nothing really changed when I did that. All it did was took December and copied it over to this January budget. The only way to go and completely start over is to go back to the very first month that you ever budgeted with your account. So I'm gonna go all the way back to September, 2021 on this account. So here we have this, I can hit reset budget on this one. So now it is completely back to scratch square one. And then I have to go to October and do the exact same thing. Cause then it's gonna copy over the September one that I just did. And you're gonna have to go month by month month from the first month you started 
to now in order to get it to fully copy and get to a square one budget number on the current month. It's a headache. It's not ideal, but it is one way to do it if you don't want to go open a brand new account. Otherwise, I mean, honestly, you can just take some time to delete everything. So if I come back to January over here of my current month, I could go through here and, and just start deleting everything I don't need. So deleting the side hustle, deleting this, and just really... If the funds are kind of out of whack, I can sit here and delete them all and create a brand new from scratch budget that way. Uh, but yeah, there's no simple way to just hit a button and say, erase everything, start over. So there you have it. Those are the three most common questions we get on our channel about using every dollar. Now, if you are new to budgeting or if you're trying to get this thing down and are struggling to get some ground with it, maybe this is the second or third time you're trying to get this the wheels turning on this whole budgeting thing. Don't go it alone. We can help you. That's what we specialize in. We have a whole team of personal finance coaches who love working with people like you one-on-one -on -one to help them not only budget effectively, but pay off debt, put more money in savings, and find that peace of mind with your money. If that is something you've been searching for, if you're frustrated by trying to go it alone, don't do it anymore. You can click on the description below. We have a link to our calendar where you can schedule a free call with one of our personal finance coaches. I promise you this is gonna be a worthwhile moment in your life where you can really dig into your finances and invest in yourself. All right, so be sure to take advantage of that free call. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you found value in it, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you are new to Every Dollar, we do have a complete walkthrough tutorial on it. I'm gonna link to that video right here for you so that you can go watch that next. All right. We'll see you next week.